Hi, I'm Imogen from Waffle TV, and I'm joined here by Joel Domit, Hello. who's here with his show this year, Nunchuck Silver Medalist 2002. Yes. Um, so what can we expect from your show this year? Uh, well, um, you expect nunchucks, and uh, it's basically about my school nemesis and what happened between me and him in school. And uh, you saw it though, you yeah. saw it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Good. It was really funny. Good, good, good. So people should definitely go see what, it. What do you what can you tell people to expect from my Well you'll show off your tattoo. I do show off my of tattoo. Pie. Yes. What type of guy were you at school then if you have a tattoo of a pie? Um, I was a bit of a nerdy kid. Mm -hmm. I liked I liked pie a lot. <laughs> I've got it on my arm here. Um, where to 106 decimal places that happened in my lifetime. What if one of them was wrong? Um, Doesn't that quite annoy you? I know it, I know it, most of it. And then he did the third line and I was like, is that? I think you've got the, the wrong amount. And he was like, right, oh, I get really angry. I was like, no, it's okay, it's fine. I think it's right. I think it's right. Everyone panic for a moment, so it's okay. Does it come in handy then? It never comes in handy. Ever. Never comes in handy. You don't ever need to know pi to more than three decimal places, essentially. But uh, yeah, that's that. And I get it out just to show how different mine and my school nemesis are. He's got like barbed wire tattoo over his bicep. We're very different people. Mm -hmm. Very different people yeah, indeed. Yeah, that does seem quite different. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> and um, you've also appeared on um, Russell Howard's Good News. Yes. How have you got to where you are now? Um, just doing stand-up, you know, you just kind of like, the good thing about stand-up is that there's a ladder to it. You start off in the open mic circuit and then you kind of rise above that and then some people stay there and then you just keep sort of going and going and going and um, I did that last year and I, it was amazing, like, it was a really, really amazing gig. I really enjoyed myself and, uh, and it really helped me out because I do a lot of presenting stuff now. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's really good to have that that people can go, oh, he's a comedian, and to make sure that it would bear that in mind. Yeah, but I had a really fun time. Yeah, but you've started doing other things too, so you're doing presenting, and you also appeared on Skins as well. Yeah. yeah. That's quite different to comedy, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, I, because I, I used to act in stuff a lot, but then everyone takes themselves so bloody seriously, I was like, you know, I'm going to start being a comedian and it's much nicer everyone just so you did like, acting before you did comedy yeah I just didn't really like it that much everyone's just like I couldn't I couldn't hack it's just too serious. the fact that people like do go like la, 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 like that noise that, that noise is what before they start performing oh, it me so much. <laughs> that actually happens it actually happens <laughs> I saw a guy in here t the other day like preparing for a performance like he was actually on the balcony going la, 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 and everyone in the dome was like what are you doing, man? <laughs> Did that in private? It just annoys me how seriously everyone takes themselves. Oh my god, so you'd never go back into acting again? Yeah. yeah, it would, but like, you know, on my own terms, I yeah. think, you know. You'd go into a comedy show. Exactly, exactly. But no, I really, um, I really like it. I love, you know, comedy's amazing, because it's not... I mean, Edinburgh is weird because it's the only time of the year that it's competitive, so... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's why it's Edinburgh's hard work, really. But uh, the the rest of the year, everyone just gets on, everyone knows each other, and it's like, you know, camaraderie, and everyone just does does the best they can, and it's really... And that's why you sort of raise up the ladder and yeah. do all these fun stuff. But Skins was a weird one because it was very... Like, it, it, you, I say to people, like, oh, I was in Skins, and everyone's like, oh, were you, like, a, a youthy teenager? And I was like, no, I was a police officer. So <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. You know, I swept over my hair. So Did you have to say anything? Did you have to wear a little hat as well? I didn't. I was a detective, oh. so wore smart clothes. Pauline Quirk was my uh, my partner in crime, or not crime. Not crime. <laughs> That's what we were. She was my partner in not crime. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Those kids were like ridiculously talented and really nice. You kind of wanted to hate them because they were so, like, so good, good yeah. at stuff. But like, it's funny when you you know when you Google your name. Mm -hmm. Not that I do, right? <laughs> but you know, when we were doing this at the, in, I lived with James Acaster and Josh Willicombe and David Trent. And they've all got brilliant shows. And uh, we were, you type in the like, start of your name and then it comes up a list below of like the word after it. Uh -huh. So you type in like Joel Domit. The first one that comes up is Joel Domit Gay. Oh, I've seen that actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you've been Googling my exit, right? <laughs> Second one is Joel Domit Wiki, as in Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Third one is uh, Joel Domit's Skins, because everyone's like, who the hell were you in Skins? Mm -hmm. So I swept over my head and I look really different. I have to look for you now in yeah. the episodes. Exactly. You'd be like, oh, that there, is. <laughs> there is! It's a fun drinking game, but you wouldn't drink much at all. How's the show going so far then? Ooh. 
I'm really enjoying it. It's really different to last year's show, and uh, it's really fun. It's uh, like a real stand-up show, and a really nice sort of heartwarming story to it. And uh, I just, uh, I just love Edinburgh Festival. I think it's such a great opportunity to be able to do, you know, Definitely. do an hour of comedy every night yeah. to like a, a, an audience of people that that love to watch comedy and it's it's just great it's such a pleasure and I, I really I'm really enjoying my show in a very different way than I did last year but um, different but yeah. way how well last year was much more sort of story based and then uh, but it was really great I really liked it a lot I was in the venue was just there and um, this year it's uh, much more stand up but but it's just much more sort of malleable I change yeah. a lot each night and it's um, it's yeah, it's good yeah it's good and I really uh, I'm really enjoying doing it. I think it's. I think that's the main thing with Edinburgh. A lot of people can become like quite bogged down and be like, oh, this is so yeah. stressful. But I think as long as you enjoy that hour of your day. You yeah. said it's getting quite competitive. Well, it, it's weird. It's just. Um, it's. Uh, that's the point. Yeah. Just in case anyone thought maybe some rocks were falling upon us. Um, in a bar. <laughs> yeah. The. It, it's not. I, I don't really like to get competitive with it, but. It's the only time of the year that it does become a sort of competitive realm, you know. It's, comedy, it's a, yeah. yeah, because the rest of the year everyone just gigs every night and and has a really fun time of it. And then Edinburgh suddenly it's all about reviews and mm -hmm. awards and stuff like that. And do like, you read any of your reviews? No, at all? I just try not to worry about any of that stuff mm -hmm. and just kind of try and do the best show you can every night. And, uh, but it's really hard, you know, because it's just like thrust in your face constantly. You walk around the festival and everyone's like, stop, stop. <laughs> but, um, but no, I, I think it's going, you know, it's going well. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I go, oh, my, my, my show's doing all right. When I walk past my poster, I'm like, oh, I've got a few stars. Oh, there like, it is. <laughs> um, well, it's definitely a really good show. Yeah, oh, I really enjoyed it. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, it's... Anything else that you really like? Um, yeah, a few things, yeah. Yeah. Must Lights, camera, improvise, and things are quite funny. Some yeah, they're stuff. random. But I like the stand-up comedians, like obviously. Yeah, this is gonna suggest some new ones, guys. Um, where about are we? We're going We're in a shop. Would you never do an improvised show shop. then? Give me the first line. <laughs> I want some chocolate. Okay, let's <laughs> improvise. <laughs> 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 Would you never do that? Oh, do you I not like them? It can be funny. It's fine. Like I like it, and the nice annoying thing is it is funny, and the people are really good at it. But like I'm just really, I just I sit, I'm just like no. <laughs> I think it's annoying for stand-up comedians because you spend yeah. so much time writing. Stuff oh yeah, so it's, and, and they just get on. owning things and they just go like, what's up? Let's get a suggestion from the audience. <laughs> it's my impro fingers. <laughs> Let's get some let's get some suggestions. <laughs> impro fingers. That's what if I was in an improv group, that's what they'd be called. That's what they'd impro be like. fingers. Impro fingers. <laughs> impro fingers. <laughs> so we might just do that next year. Next year, that's what my show next year. Yeah, you should do that next Jordan. year, definitely. Impro fingers. <laughs> look out for it. Let's get just suggestion from the audience, guys. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of friends who do improv, and I really respect what you guys do. <laughs> so. <laughs> They'll be making fun of you next. Exactly. Like, stand up fingers. Stand up fingers. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you very much for this then. It's a pleasure. So um, your show's going to be on at eight fifteen p.m. every night till the twenty sixth. Eight fifteen p.m. I don't I don't know the difference between a.m. and p.m. Yeah, I just thought I should put p.m. No, in yeah, there. I, really, I, I missed that. Day just in case people came up in the morning. I missed I missed the day at school. You do a.m. and p.m. and uh, and so I kind of had to teach it to myself really badly later on in life. Um, and the way I taught myself is it. awful. I know. I, this is honestly how I remember my M and PM. I go, AM stands for afternoon, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> really bad way of That's kind of confusing. Yeah, it's like going. That would oh, it's absolutely me. fine to steal a car. Quite the contrary. <laughs> it's a really bad way of remembering. <laughs> Well, if it works for you, then why not? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's, uh, it really doesn't. It takes me ages because I have to go, you go 8.15pm, 8, 8, I'll be like, 5pm, sounds for, it's am, but afternoon, no it doesn't, and it's the other one, it's pm, <laughs> which means it's in the evening. My show's in the evening, my show's in the evening. It's in the evening, so yeah. 8.15pm at the Pleasance Courtyard, yeah. Attic. Yeah. Yep. Attic, as he comes with me. <laughs> Keep watching Waffle TV. Come, come watch my <laughs>